Swan by Jonathan London. The first thing Koho saw when he cracked through the eggshell was his mother and father towering over him. Then he saw three swan chicks, scrawny and confused, crying, peep, peep, peep. Koho settled down with the others beneath his mother's soft, warm feathers. Two days later, the babies slid out of their nest and into the lake. Their parents tipped bottoms up, bicycling their feet for balance, snaking their long necks deep, stirring up the watery salad for the little ones to nibble. Ten days later, Koho and the others tipped their bottoms up for the first time and tried to feed on their own. They kicked in the air and flailed and swayed and toppled over, splash, duckweed dangled from their bills. When ravens and eagles swooped above and pike and turtles swam below, Koho climbed aboard his mother's back where he felt safe. It was the season of the cygnets, the season when the parents' flight feathers fell out so they couldn't fly. All summer, the family swam together and stayed together. They pulled roots and shoots from the river banks, ate snails in the grass and dove back into the water to nibble on reeds and water moss and pond lilies. In this way, the young grew quickly, and as summer turned into fall, the parents' flight feathers grew back, and the flight feathers on the cygnets grew in. They were ready to learn to fly. Koho hopped and flopped and stumbled and fell. But soon he was running on water and taking off with the others on low flights over the marshes. Every day they flew a little farther, and every day the weather grew colder. Ice formed along the edges of the lakes. Before the lakes froze over, the swans would have to fly south for the winter. But one day, just before dawn, a young, hungry grizzly came crashing down through the willows and the ice. He charged toward Koho. Koho! Koho! trumped his parrots. Koho! Koho! With fierce, strong blows, they swung their wings like clubs. Koho flapped and squeaked like a broken whistle. At last, the startled bear scrambled off into the rosy mist and disappeared. Koho was safe. But the lake was freezing over, heads bobbing, restless to go. The swan family called to each other. It was time. Time to migrate. They banded together and, in single file, ran on water and took to the air. With a graceful, majestic power, they formed a V and flew high, high in the sky kingdom of the swan, honking, Koho! Koho! Koho and his family would wing back in the spring. Someday he would have a family of his own. The End